there when the new patch works good. Can I see not cooling? This little one right here. Yeah, check it out. Get into it. Okay. Okay, got one no no cooling. But uh and then the lights are on on the Edison box. Makes me think maybe maybe we've blown a fuse here. Oh boy. Check it out. Turn it on inside. Go from there. I'm not sure about the Edison box and the controls, whether it gets power from the high voltage side, the 120, or whether it gets it from the low voltage side. Um, so, going to trace the conduit down. Pull that. Check that. Start there. Again, no lights on the Edison. Start there. Continuity here on our fuses. Got continuity there. No continuity there. We got a bad fuse. Problem number one. And fuse in my pocket here. Verify that it's good. Case break sounds a little broke. A little disappointed because of the. I'm used to having it where I like it, and now it's not. So it's a little trickier. Now I gotta in my pocket. I need to buy another case. Does that ever happen to you? You know, or something's different. What you're carrying it kind of throws you off a little. Okay, there's that. Now let's take a look at the box. This uh, a little different style air conditioning. Capacitor. It's got a different style hard start key on it and a 5 microfarad capacitor. I'm check, test both of those. Start there. Looking at the contactor. Everything looks okay there. Alright. So let's go with the capacitor fan cap first.
really don't know what was happening. I could test it. I don't see any wiring shorts, so that's always a indication. Um, I'm going to be testing the capacitors anyway. Yeah, let's plug it in. We'll give it a shot. I don't see anything jumping off. Okay, here it goes, pushing in the contactor. Oh, started up good. And it's getting cold, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. I'm gonna test those capacitors anyway. Since I'm heading up against the center, I kind of want to, you know. We're going to re-discharge our capacitor. The capacitor holds the charge in it even after the power is disconnected. And anytime you re-energize it, you need to re-discharge it. We've got a new five. I guess I should test them first before I get too crazy. Let's go ahead. Slip the leads off. And one of the microfarads here. Uh, you can discharge the 5 to the fan, technically it cancels out of the motor windings, but you never know if something went bad. Okay, it's offline. 4.84. That's not too bad. Test our new one. It is out of where we want it to. It's plus or minus 5%. Actually, it is okay. Even the new one is 4.89. Uh, plus or minus 5% would put it at 0.25, so 4.75 would be good. So we're okay there. So I can put that back. This should be anchored somehow. It just kind of dawned on me. It's not not anchored at all. It's just, just sitting up there. So I'm gonna work that out too. You know, I don't want it to fall on anybody. I can just anchor it to the side right here. Should be pretty easy. Okay, so here goes our start wires. This one has uh, one going to the Edison control box, and uh, that's why our deal was out. So this takes 110 from the. That's weird, it takes it from the start side. I'm not familiar really with the, how those are wired, so I'm just going to mimic it the way it, the uh, same way it is. So, so we've got the two yellows on the same side. And then all the commons on the other. Let's see if I can just test this with it disconnected, kind of with the commons still connected, just for curiosity. Yeah, it's not giving me a good reading, 0.831. So we're going to pull off the nose. Okay. Yeah, that way we get a isolated reading on the microfarad capacitor. 35, so let's see what we got. Huh, still 0.83. That's weird. We got a bad cap. 0.83, yeah, we got a bad cap. So, there's our problem. And we had the blown fuse, so that's the problem. Well, that was the symptom. out even in here. I'm using 440s these days because I think they'll hold up a little bit better in my area for the heat. 34.29, 28.9. 
connections were nice and tight so that's good so we had our yellow coming up from the Edison box on the arm and the yellow start and we should just have the other leaf and the heart start okay. which is right over here okay. everything was nice and tight that's good all right should be much better now. Probably that uh, capacitor was so out of phase that it uh, pulled too much amps. Okay, so I went ahead and anchored the capacitor there. It's not touching the roof or nothing, not touching anything funny. Everything's good there. And, uh, oh, actually everything's not good there. I had a, the lead come disconnected here. That looks like that was too high. Too high up there. Yeah. Let me pull that around to the front instead and redo this. I need my other hand. Logistics. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna need to trade this one. Good now. Everything's nice and tight. Ready to rumble. Alright. Now the unit turned on inside. And I'll actually go ahead and put the cover back on. And turn it off. Alright. Alright, there we go. Fan motor is spinning the correct direction. The line, nice and cold. You hear a little something. Look at that. There it is. I wonder. That's 
just reset this screw here, see if we can make that better. Yeah, that's no fun to listen to. Pull it tight and then we'll see if we can run that in better. Wasn't the original screw? I don't know. There we go. Much better. Sometimes it's those little things. Oh, and now on this Edison box, this is what we wanted to check. The lights. Oh, I still have no light. I'm not sure there. But, you know. That's a problem for Edison, not for me. Maybe they've got it turned off, I don't know. But I wired it the same way I found it, so it's a done deal. All right, thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Oh yeah, nice and chilly. Be safe out there. See you on the next one. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the Edison box is hooked up wrong. Um, if I find another one, I'll have to look at how they're hooked up. Just to understand it a little bit better. I always kind of thought they were low voltage on the low voltage side and just interrupted the, the deal. It's possible maybe somebody hooked this up wrong a long time ago. Something else, I don't know. I mean, I always mimic what I see, so I'm very careful about that, but yeah. Guys don't do it that way, they just take everything apart and then figure it out after, which is silly. It's always a little better to, to look at everything that you have going on and, and uh, you know, not saying what you see is always hooked up the right way, as in possibly in this case, but you know, I'm gonna have to look into that further. Hope you liked it.